I have to use the hero because I'm going to show you how to use or I'll show you my process but I have to use this camera to do it so I have to use my hero to uh, do the thing I can't see what I'm filming so anyway this is my process plug it in and then I open Adobe Bridge and I click this button get photos from camera select the flip all the videos that I recorded show up and I do and actually I need to browse because I have forgotten to change this eDrive video projects and I go down to MCL768 2011 daily vlog and I select the February folder and I say okay create subfolders by shot date so it will create a folder for that day and put the files into it and then I click get photos and it will download them from the camera into my eDrive video projects MCL768 2011 daily vlog 02 February 20110203 so that's 2011 February 3rd we're going into that folder and then would you like to delete them from your camera yes now their camera is clean ready for a new day and I have all of my videos for the third all in their own folder separated by year month and day so what I do is I hit function F11 because I've set that to open Adobe Premiere Pro open new project and I name it 20110203 I guess I can go over my settings uh, whatever <laughs> this is just action and title safe areas 20% title safe area 10% action that's for if you're exporting to like actual TV sometimes TVs cut off 10 to 20 percent of the actual video around the edges so that's just for the guides um, display format time code that's fine I use minutes and seconds I don't use frames audio samples or milliseconds audio samples fine and then HDV I don't capture anymore because this records directly to files I don't need to capture which is nice and then my video rendering and playback, I use the Mercury playback engine with GPU acceleration. Makes rendering much faster. My location is there, and I say OK. And it asks me for the name of the sequence. And I name it the same thing, 20110203. And my settings, 60 frames per second, 1280 by 720. Um, square pixels so that pixel aspect ratio is one uh, no field so it's progressive scan 44 100 samples per second three video tracks uh, okay that's all the presets okay now I've got my new project so I go back into Premier, uh, bridge back into bridge and I just hit control A select all the clips from yesterday click and drag them over there okay importing files and then I drag all the files down into the timeline and then I start editing that's the first step of the process it's the import step uh, okay this is how I get my title on every video the same that's what I do control T new title uh, call it title one title zero one and I have a preset so I just click on the presets templates whatever title one and this is February 2nd 2011 day 233 so all I do 
is change second to third and then I change 233 to 234 and then I go back to here user templates and I click this button import current title as a template and I name it the same thing that the templates already called title one and then it overwrites it so now when I import the title tomorrow it'll be this one and I just need to increase the numbers by one and that's it and then I drag the title onto my timeline use the plus key to zoom in some and then stretch it out to five seconds or so yeah, somewhere close to five seconds yeah, close enough. okay now I can start actually editing the video and then I'll show you what to do after that video is edited and uh, this is what I do next now that we got the video ready control S to save control M to export and since nothing has changed since the last time I just hit enter and it will open up Adobe Media Encoder starting in five four two one go now it's encoding and you can see how quickly it's encoding it's it's going to take less than a minute to encode this video so I know some people who always complain about rendering and they spend you know half their lives rendering but I don't know just get a video card that supports rendering render your videos on the video card itself and then uh... it's very fast I mean look at that it's uh, nine seconds left five four three two one and it's done it's finished that's all there is to done encoding what is that? oh cancel anyway time to upload and then time to edit this video and upload this video so